Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop in and give you guys an update on, on everything. Um, you know, I've, I've been getting requests, you know, uh, from, you know, my, my comments, um, you know, some of my DMs on my different um, media here on YouTube and even, you know, like Facebook, Instagram, etc. to do another video update. So here I am. So I wanted to go ahead and just focus on just three big points. Just one, you know, my uh, my hormone levels. Two, just like my my physical fitness and mental fitness even. And three, just you know uh, how my life has been going overall. So let's see here. As far as the testosterone, you know, I'm proud to say I've had consistently standard levels for the past few months now at least about six months now like uh whenever i do like a little routine checkup at um little doctor clinic and you know the, the blood work always comes back oh well your testosterone levels are normal well you know like normal for you know a male my age so i mean that's that's a really good feeling i mean i've, I've noticed it um I mean, with uh, I guess with like you'll you'll kind of see <laughs> with my physique, um, you know, I've been able to you know get a little bit uh, bulk up a little bit more. My bones and joints even feel I guess stronger. Not that they were weak in the first place, but it's you, you just notice a difference. And I mean, I, I pointed to it already. You can even see like with um, my facial hair. I want you to get like a really good view of that. Ugh. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's been thickening up, um, quite a bit. Um, I grew this out actually, like just for you guys, just so you can see, this is about mm, four weeks, give or take about a month, give or take of me just not shaving at all. Uh, probably a little, maybe a little longer than that. I kind of lost count, but I just want you guys to get like a good good view I just you know like um my very first video like i could barely grow facial hair at all like maybe like a little bit of peach fuzz uh some sideburn and like a few like little little strings little patches but you know it's, it's filled in quite a bit you know now that i've been um you know doing um the testosterone cycle unit for about uh god it'll be uh a full three years this fall but yeah i mean it, it, it's definitely had a change for the good i mean um you know i wouldn't be surprised if the doctors say i don't even have to do my dosage as often but yeah i think i might still shave it though just because you know it was you can kind of tell like you know even though it's spread out it's not the most consistent growth pattern part of that i don't think is even from the client filter syndrome i mean but just you know, the men of my family on both sides are not like real hairy. So, you know, this is just is what it is. Oh, I, I may, I may shave it off or I may get it lined up or something at the barber. I'm not really sure. Um, let's see what else. Um, uh, but yeah, as far as the testosterone cypion, it's been going good. I haven't had any, um, like really negative side effects. Uh, I guess because like, I th I've checked with my doctor some at that thing and now my my body's probably been starting to produce some of its own testosterone that it needs. Like even like when I'm in between doses, I don't really feel I guess a huge difference if that makes any sense. So yeah, um, yay. Um, okay, let's see. Oh god, the, my AC just came on. Um, but we'll keep going. Uh, point number two, just my overall like uh, mental health and physical fitness. I already kind of talked about that, that with the first point, but yeah. Um, and this one doesn't so much even co co correlate directly with the client filters, but you know, I've noticed like I've been able to build muscle more and I've, I have even more um i guess energy physically and even mentally to a certain degree like you know i think that the testosterone helps like the way my doctor explained like 
testosterone isn't just for you know your feeling of masculinity or physical strength i mean it, it plays an important part with brain function as well and you know it, it definitely has helped me especially since you know i'm, I'm mid 20s i'm 25 i'll be 26 by april 10th team aries <laughs> and yeah i mean just a, a lot of scientists agree that you know the uh, for whatever reason men um tend not to really ma really mature even like mentally till about age 25 give or take so i'm i'm about right at the threshold i mean i think a lot of my issues when i think about it you know a lot of it you know, you can relate it some to, you know, the extra chromosome, but, you know, a lot of it is just growing pains. And I mean, you know, medicine helps getting, getting help from medical professionals definitely helps, but, or even just like people who have um, backgrounds in philosophy, or, or excuse me, rather, it's, uh, psychology, sociology, or just people who you know, I have a lot of wisdom and experience about themselves. Like it definitely helps. Like I, I decided to, you know, just do counseling sessions just every other week for the past, it's been since uh, February, just to, you know, just to improve myself. Like, you know, not, I'm, I'd say I'm, I've always been a pretty functional person any, anyway, but it, it just helps to, you know, just any, problems that are still haunting you any feelings of insecurities or just keeping it real just even like my own flaws my own just inherent things that i need to refine and outright change i mean you know seeking a professional to you know kind of work build yourself up from the inside out you know that that really helps a lot and you know and you know i, I think you should always try to be the best version of yourself that's certainly something that I've been pursuing even harder in the past couple months, um, especially for me and hopefully for, for you too. I, let's see here. As far as just my overall life, point three, um, it's been pretty good. I'm, I'm still in central Florida. I think I might ride up you know, to my home state in Georgia just to see a lot of, you know, friends and families i have a lot of elders who still live back there uh visit the okmoge mounds for those of you who are familiar with the middle georgia area that kind of thing but yeah i'm, I'm still here in um central florida around a, you know the tampa area uh it's, it's going good i mean I, I going back to i guess even health i i think florida is just a really healthy place to live i mean or just the the southeast as a whole i mean there's plenty of sunlight um, lots of, lots of fauna, lots of old growth woods. Um, there, I mean, compared to let's say even like where I was. Um, no disrespect to anybody, but like Chicago or like somewhere in the upper, excuse me, Midwest, Northeast, where there's a lot of air pollution, lack of trees. You know, certainly, like uh, you know, if you're trying to, if you're looking for somewhere to move. Um, and you know, like, uh, um, they have some have something going on where you know having lots of sunlight, lots of warm weather helps. I definitely recommend the southeast. I mean, Florida's good. I mean, even Georgia, my home state, is good for that. Not as hot as Florida, but you know. So yeah, um, I mean, the, don't get me wrong. I still have my highs and lows. Um, career wise, I am at kind of a crossroads, like. I still, you know, do my freelance ventures. Um, you guys probably follow me on like um, me and my wife's uh, freelance ventures, or I should say business, because they are. Um, you know, Roy Miller Photography, Saxy Carmi, where, you know, just, well, that, that one's more for music and just like my personal page or like my wife's brand, um, you know, EG Chronicles. We have well baby brand that's in the works, but we haven't we haven't refined it enough to um, really re re release it yet. But you know we're we're both still nine to five people, and I mean it's going good. It's just you know it, it's just one of those situations where it's going good now, but you got to look 
forward. You got to look at something better because, you know, it, it's just one of those situations where complacency will lead to your downfall in the future. You know, it, it's, I wouldn't call it like where I'm at, like a, the gig I'm at now, like a dead end nine to five. Well, I kind of would, but it's just, you know, I, I, as I mentioned earlier, always just try to become the best version of yourself, whether that means improving yourself mentally or doing <laughs> like what I've been doing or applying for jobs, um, you know, trying to cook up different <laughs> ways to improve your freelancing, your business, um, you know, just whatever works, you know, and, and certainly like seek help. Don't think that you can just do it by yourself. You know, I'll, I'll even take it, you know, myself personally, like you can't just do it by yourself. You know, the, <clears throat> the, but the best people out there, big and small, you know, like they, they get help, you know, uh, what's the saying? If you want to move fast, um, move by yourself, you want to move strong, move together. So that's a good approach in life. So overall, I mean, you know, it, it was really good talking to you guys again. Uh, I mean, I guess you guys just don't even realize, like, I know, like, people tell me that my videos help, but, you know, you guys interacting with me, whether through, you know, these YouTube videos or just reaching out to me on my other social media, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Facebook, it, it helps me a lot. Like, I, I really don't think you understand. Just going back to what I was saying, you know, to really improve, you know, you can't just do it by yourself you got to have you know at least some kind of community that that always helps and you know i mean it's it's medicine in its own way you know so thank you okay thank you for your time and hope to hear from you guys soon bye bye